Hello, how are you? I'm, uh, I'm uh, Harrison. Yes, today, 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 today. Yes, hello. Today, I'm gonna show you how to thread a punch needle. How to thread a punch needle. Any, how to put Uzi on a punch needle. <laughs> yeah, how to thread a punch needle. So, first thing, what you need to have uh, is your punch needle. Mine is like that. I've coated it with rubber. Yeah, because of the working, you know, fast working. But originally, it looked like this. With this script. But mine, I've coated it with rubber. So if you want to coat yours, you can ask me how you can coat or you can come over to where I am. Call me on 0799101310 and uh, ask me how to coat. Well, tell me to coat for you. I will coat for you. So, we have our punch needle. Next is the thread. We need the thread. Most of you, most of you may call it the thread. Others call it yarn. The yarn. This is the yarn. Yeah. The yarn. Thread. Anyhow you call it. Yeah. Still works. So there you go. Now, for me, I have a thread. Here it is. So thin. Uh, it can go inside the, the punch needle like that easily and come out of the other side but uh, uh due to public yeah, public request they say they don't have the threader so they said they want to know how to thread punch needle when you don't have a threader now here is another yeah another way you can use there is this thread a thin one well it's a it's a fishing thread it's called a fishing thread yeah and uh, it's so thin as you can see it's so so thin it's a fishing thread so if you have the fishing thread you can also use it to thread your punch needle so how do you do it using a using the fishing fishing line yeah actually it's the fishing line not fishing thread fishing line so you see take your fishing line fold it into two like that the end where the two ends meet yeah uh, you see now when it's like that when the two ends meet this part where it has this arch you see this arch take it on the tip side of your punch needle put it until it appears on the other side let me show you like this yeah make sure it goes in like that no it's not i don't know why <laughs> yeah it's it's legging me that's how we say now it's cutting me that's a broken english yes it's refusing so this way in put it in good that way push it push until sorry uh, let me repeat that one you see you didn't see it um, okay like that press until it gets the size of your part new tip and the tip side put it in like that that way come on again refusing well 
now that it has diffused that way let's try the other method the two end tips of the fishing line the two end tips as you can see the two end tips that way that way today we have been blessed with the rain and it's raining huh? so on the other end not on the tip end so the two ends of the fishing the fishing line put them through like that push them until they appear on the other end until they appear on the other end like like that so make sure they don't get out so uh, when it has appeared the other end will be left like this with this arch you see this yeah it will be left like like that so what you do you take your yarn thread the uz hmm, the cotton one or the any you are using to make your mat using a patch needle put it through like that you see put it through like that baby then come to the other side pull 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 as you can see when i pull the yarn goes in pull until it appears on the other end when it appears don't remove your fishing line from the yarn what you do put it well take the two ends again the two these two ends the two ends of the fishing line again on the on this this thread hole as you can see it here on the needle it's blurring. come on come on come on come on come on yeah on that yeah there there you go see that hole put the ends through the two ends through put them then as obvious pull pull like that you see goes through now you can remove your fishing line and put it safe because yeah if you misplace it i'm sure you can never see it again because it's so thin so then after you pushed it in you see the thread so long so pull it back from the other end pull until it's it has been left such you see so that's how you thread a punch needle i will repeat again uh for proper you know maybe the first video you didn't understand so let me do it again first thing the fishing line punch needle get thread good now let's do this take your fish line uh, fish line take the end to end points and put them together like that then straighten your thread that is your fishing line mine is so long that's way now the two ends the two ends <coughs> the two ends of the punch needle push them through that line that way through 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 until they appear on that tip end like that you see they have appeared you see them yeah like that and they appear you pull a little so that it can't uh they can't they can't you know so that it can't uh there's a time you can put it wrong way and you have to repeat the process again but put it right here. now on the end that has been left out it is left something like that as you can see it that way that looks like a circular thing you know that's the fishing line that has been left take your thread or the yarn put it through like that make sure it is long enough so that it don't they don't also fall and you have to repeat the process again then 
from the obtuance that is on the tip side pull when you pull the thread goes in like that that is step number one of threading step number two using your fish line again fish line thin one okay you can use a fish line you can use a what yeah fish line a wire but be it something thin that can fit in okay then through the hole as i told you the hole which is here you see like the way a needle always have a hole the hole is there so also put it through like that then take your thread like this put it through then pull again when you pull it goes through put your fish line safe then balance the balance the thread by pulling from this end but don't pull so hard it you you move your thread again and start the process so pull until it's short when it's short now you can go on your sack on your material and set your thread okay so that is how you thread a punch needle thank you uh, my name is my name is Harrison Ashoke Ngogi or you can call me DJ Harry Kings yeah I'm a DJ so remember to like to subscribe and to share with other friends who need to know how to thread a punch needle thank you god bless you